Yep, you guys saw that right. We have a racing slash driving simulator. Welcome to episode nine of the Dream Room Makeover series. I'm not gonna show you guys too much of this yet. I do wanna bring you guys back in time where we started with this whole build, which is, I think, three weeks ago. So let's go ahead and go back in time. Hopefully you guys do enjoy episode nine of the Dream Room Makeover series. Before we get into building our new setup, let's go over my old driving setup. Excluding the monitor because I actually just picked this up, but this is the Logitech G923. For the price you pay for this nowadays in 2022, late 2022, I don't really think it's worth it for this whole setup anymore. And to be honest, I feel like it's more of a toy than an actual simulator. So without further ado, let's get ahead and get down here to ground floor where we have Three big boxes from Moza. Thank you again to Moza Racing for sending all these out. I cannot wait to open this up and feel Moza Racing's products on the simulator. Oh shoot! We got ourselves the ES Formula wheel. So it's gonna be like really cool to use on like a set of course of competiciones or F1. Uh, 22 so yeah can't wait to use this man it's like i'm living in an early christmas right now opening this all right so the next thing we got here y'all uh is the srp clutch pedal so this one's going to be a really cool attachment to our srp pedals which is really just the throttle and also the brake but since i do want to have a shifter eventually uh, i want to use the clutch pedal as well because i do like driving stick right. oh my gosh look at that Oh crap. Oh, there we have it, y'all. This is the Moza R5 Direct Drive Racing Bundle. Bop, bop. Wow. Lots of stuff. So let's open up this one first. This is, I think, the wheel. Boop, boop, boop. Nice and heavy, actually. There we have it. Wow. Good leather. Quality feels great. And. You guys hear that? Gosh. And they have the quick release thing here with the bearings. This is a quality wheel. I love it. Reminds me of the wheel I have in my car, so. Wow, this is this is awesome. Guys, here we go. The Moza Racing R5 base. Look at how tiny this looks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's literally a cube, and look at the inputs in the back. That's insane. So in the back, we got the pedals, we got the dash, uh, we have the USB and DC input, and we have the power button. That's literally it. That's how simple this is. The way that it's all set up, even the R9, which is above this, they're very, very tiny, and it can really work with any setups, which is awesome. So with the bundle, we also get these pedals, which is the SRP light pedals, and for the price, like this is full metal construction, like, this is very, very nice quality and I'm actually like really impressed from first impressions. It also is just two pedals, so you have your accelerator and you have your brake, which is stiff, which is cool. And you know, we're gonna add a stiffer spring as well, it's gonna make it much better. But before we're able to use this right now, we're gonna have to open up and assemble our new rig, which is in this big box that I got from Amazon. It's everything that you need without a chair and a monitor mount. Uh, but in terms of the chair, I do have a spare Mazda Miata chair. Which is gonna be cool because it's gonna be like realistic in a way. That's just laying in the back of the garage. I'm gonna get that as well later in the video, and you guys will see how this whole rig is gonna be laid out. All right guys, so the Miata seat is finally on our rig. This took about an hour and a half. I was just like fiddling with the actual OEM rails from the Miata seat. So this is actually coming from a second gen Miata at NB. So this is coming around that generation of Miata seats. So it was a little bit of fiddling around and trying to make it work, but we got it just right. And yeah, there is a bit of wear and tear, but I got these seats for free. Like this is pretty sick. Yeah, let me go ahead and sit down right here. Give you guys a perspective of how we looking. The wheelbase is going to be right here, and then the shifter is going to be right here. And what's cool with this is, again, I can slide back, and I can also slide forward, which is cool. Flipping it around, we can also recline. Kind of sick. But yeah, for a $150 rig, it's not bad, and it's actually, like, really sturdy. Like, there's a lot of bolts that 
came into this package and it might have just been a really cool black friday deal but when i searched up a racing sim rig this is the one i saw and it was able to be mounted with a nice seat and i was you know fortunate enough to get these free miata seats so we'll get a little bit of like a realistic uh, sitting position. I know in like real racing, obviously you're going to be using bucket seats and all that stuff. Maybe in the future we'll upgrade to one of those, but for now this will do. And I'm very happy with how budget we are going with this setup. So, so far so good. Go ahead and grab this cube right here. Man, that is heavy. And we're going to put it, plop it right in there. All right guys, so we got the wheel now and we're just gonna be using this quick release adapter on this steering hub of the R5. And basically we're just gonna snap it into the six ball bearings that you see fitted onto the mount. And all we gotta do is find those six ball bearings and connect it like so. And it snaps into place. And now it's not going anywhere. We got ourselves the steering wheel fully floating. Doesn't make any noise when you rotate it. I know when I was using the Logitech one, it just makes so much noise when you turn it just because it's using gears. So this is awesome, it's just free floating and you just gotta turn it on and we're gonna have a direct drive system later down the line. But for now, we still gotta do pedals and connect that into our rig. So let's get to that. So this is our racing sim setup at the moment. We finished off adding the seat. As you guys can tell, we have a Miata seat. It's bolstered in, which is great. We got our pedals. We got our Moza R5. And we got our wheel on, which is awesome. There's a place for our wireless keyboard and our wireless mouse. And we have our awesome ultra-wide monitor that's 49 inches long. That is absolutely crazy. But this is going to be our setup. But my grand idea, guys, is to actually take all this out move that cubicle area over here and then we're going to move our setup into this slot right under our 48 inch lg cx so without further ado let's go ahead and change things up and just like that we have our brand new setup for our racing sim i definitely like this layout way better than the old one just because it felt more like clustered in that format so this looks way better for me and personally i think it's just a bit of a refreshing look before we get to racing we actually have to figure out sound. We're gonna be running wireless audio. So what we're doing is I'm using my SteelSeries Arctis Pro. So this headset's gonna be really useful, especially during nighttime when I don't wanna disturb my parents and my siblings when I'm trying to game and race. Now, if I do wanna play without a headset, we do have these two speakers that we're gonna be installing today. These are from Sound Dynamics. Basically two Bluetooth speakers that has RGB, which is kind of cool, and they run as a stereo pair, which is awesome. So we're just gonna place it on both corners of the desk. And yeah, hopefully this is gonna sound really nice and just gonna give us a better experience when racing. So these speakers are like literally the size of my hand. It's kind of crazy how tiny these guys are. And then let's turn it on. Oh yeah. There we go. All right guys. So we're gonna connect it via TWS mode, which basically gives us like the stereo option. I heard you just hold this down. Click it this once. There we go. And now they're paired together and we can run stereo audio with them. All right, so audio is finally situated. We're gonna test this out in a second, but let's talk about the monitor. A big part of this setup is this amazing Samsung Odyssey G9. It's a 49 inch 5120 by 1440p monitor that goes up to 240 Hertz. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's honestly just so immersive. Like once we get into our seat, this is what we're looking at it is so wide and it's awesome that it's just curved and you can just see everything in your face, especially when you're racing. Uh, some other things I added to it is this Govi like dream view setup. As you guys can see, it's like basically in rainbow mode right now. It's a bit too fast. So I'm sorry if this is hurting your eyes, y'all. But basically there's two bars in the back and a big Govi LED strip. And then this right here is actually a camera and basically it just looks into the screen and displays whatever it sees as the color and the background, which is pretty cool.
All right, guys, we're now playing on ACC, but let's begin. I also am using the steering wheel mod here that allows me to do this F1 style steering wheel, which is pretty, pretty cool. But yeah, let's, let's see how far we can make it without crashing. I think that'll be an accomplishment if we don't crash. So now we're on a straightaway here. Definitely feels awesome with this wheel. Uh, I can feel a lot of the bumps, especially when we're slowing down here. Oh, we're gonna spin out a little bit. <laughs> Catch that. You definitely feel it when you're spinning out. The wheelbase tells you that, which is awesome. I cannot talk and race at the same time. I am so sorry. Little, go a little here. Tight turns. Feel the curb, which is pretty cool. Now the speakers coming out of the sound dynamic vibe is pretty good. Honestly, it's like good stereo input, especially for our Bluetooth wireless speakers. Now I absolutely suck, guys. <laughs> I don't think I can race and talk and record at the same time. I don't know how people do it. Oh, it's so much fun. Let's go. We did one lap. Oh, we spit it out. Oh, no. Damn. All right. We'll cut it there for the sake of the video. We spun out. I absolutely suck. But yeah, let's go ahead and play a set of courses now. We're going to have to take this wheel off, which is basically like this. Take it off. Boom. All right, the wheel is back together here. Let's put it on. So we gotta match it to six. There we go. We are looking. All right guys, so now we are running the GT86 on Assetto Corsa and we're just gonna go up some nice roads here and just cruise around and have fun. And we're back onto the normal uh, wheel we had before. So let's go ahead and check it out. Drop the clutch. <laughs> <laughs> it's so freaking cool. Oh my god, it's so fun. Literally feels like I'm driving my car. This is awesome. It's funny because Assetto Corsa is just like, <laughs> it's so old now, but it's still like one of my favorite games to play. <laughs> that is so fun. I love how instant this wheel like reacts when you're turning. It feels so good. I want like I really want to drift this and just like learn. See, I'd rather practice on a set of Corsa than ruining my own car. So that's why I wanted to build a setup like this is because I do want to do some Hoonigan stuff, but probably not with my car. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah, we did it. We did it. <laughs> kind of did it. <laughs> Now one thing that is missing with a racing simulator like this uh, configuration is that we don't have like a sense of speed, you know, there's no motion, there's no wind, you know what I mean? You can hear the audio which is pretty good on its own and it gives you enough of that feeling where you're having a great time, you know, driving. But for example, when you're braking, like you don't feel the g-force, you know what I mean? Uh, that stuff like is something that I'd love to invest on later down the line, but it is a very expensive configuration going for like a three axis or a five axis platform. Uh, but for now, this is totally, totally fine and I'm having a great time. Now let's see if we can get this corner right here. Oh, almost, almost. <laughs> 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 Okay, that's enough. That was a lot of fun. But yeah, that's gonna be it for Assetto Corsa. Let's go ahead and try out Forza Horizon 5. Uh, one of my favorite games to play as well. Just because it's just such an arcade style game and it's just super cool to just lay back and cruise around. And you can also have fun with your friends. So let's go on Forza. All right guys, we are now playing Forza Horizon 5, the last game for today's video. Uh, this one's more of an arcade style game and to actually be able to drive this with the Moza R5 you're going to have to go into the settings on Moza Pithouse. You're going to have to go into the experimental function settings and then hit the uh, Forza Horizon 5 setting uh, that will allow you to drive with this game. But yeah, I got everything set up. We have the wheel, we got shifter, handbrake all working and we're going to be using the Miata. I'm just going to cruise around. Uh, maybe we go up the mountain. I don't know. It's a very beautiful game. The map is awesome and it's just it's just so nice to drive. I'm gonna be driving in third person this time, instead of first person, just because it's one of those games where I just love to see everything around me and look at the car. So let's go and drive. Going a little off-roading with the Miata. Oh shoot. Dude, it's crazy. This wheelbase is like, I feel every little bump in the rocks. 
<laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, man, th for the for this whole setup that we have now, I am so happy. I'm so happy I've been able to play all these games and just mess around and you know experiment and have fun. I know there's other games like iRacing, you know, that I'd love to try out one day. Um, and it's great because they actually have my car now in iRacing, the GR86 or 22 BRZ. And I want to be able to dr drive that one day, but for now, you know, this is fine. Oh my god, it's so fun! Off-roading with a Miata, y'all! Uh, we'll end it off right here. Well, we're gonna end it off right here, y'all. But man, what a sim rig we have built. I'm so happy we've done this. It's so, so cool to be able to drive just all these cool racing games and cars in my bedroom, which is awesome. But man, I wanna say thank you to Moza for allowing us to even do this with the Moza R5 bundle. Beautiful package that they have over here. And honestly, the price is unbeatable. Uh, other than that, I wanna say thank you to David for the cool ass monitor. Uh, sound dynamic for the really cool speakers and Gopi for a really cool backlight. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this video guys. If you guys did enjoy, there's going to be much more racing sim videos in the future. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and follow for more videos, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.